hi guys welcome back to my channel i am Brittany louise and if you are new here how you doing hey hello hello so we are here to talk about round two it's my ray ray times bh cosmetics and you guys can see i've been playing in this obviously the first look i did was on instagram i did a quick little one minute video and i did a, a more natural look than this one and i say more on the natural look you may go look at it and say it's not natural to you but it's really hard for britney to do like super 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 natural like suit like y'all like skin i'm gonna do one for you guys here pretty soon because one it will be a super quick video and two it'll be a super quick video and three y'all probably are like b if you don't you know hurry up and show me something natural, something that I can do myself, something that I like, then I'm gonna be mad. So, look, don't be mad. This is cute. I like, I can't help it, you guys. Like, when I see, like, colors and jewel tones, I just can't help it. That's what I gravitate to the most, you know what I'm saying? Don't forget before the end of this video to like, sub, and share this video. We don't want this channel to suck. We want this channel to grow, honey. And how can people grow if we ain't sharing? All right, let's get started with this video. Okay, guys, so we are gonna go ahead and get started with this. My face is is already done and taken care of and we're just gonna go in and do a sickening eye with this palette this palette is absolutely affordable it is $17.50 you guys $17.50 when uh, this palette dropped I absolutely ran straight to Ulta and purchased this palette because why not less than 20 bucks okay i really like this palette just because it is so nice it's really nice jewel tones i love that their mattes are at the bottom and then you've got the corresponding jewel tone shimmer in the center and then you've got your base here this is what i like to call your base or or your crease colors here and then you've got a couple of your you know your your natural look so you could do like a sick natural look here and then you've got your fun on the center and the bottom you guys have been riding with me for the longest you know i love to do bold looks and today is not going to be any different i've seen a few people play with like the purples in this palette and play with you know the that rosy gold at the top and i really want to play with this green here and play with this yellow and gold here we're gonna see where it goes hopefully it goes well i'm gonna zoom you guys in really quick and we are gonna get started with this look okay so i brought you in on the chocolate face i'm gonna go in with brick and get that crease started here and the brush i'm using is my mac 224s brush i love that it has that tip there so that it really hugs in my crease really well and also like that i can just pat pigment down with that tip there i can just pack that pigment in and then just blend like crazy you know okay so now we're gonna get right into color we're gonna go in with this shade ambitious here and we are just gonna place it right in here and i am taking one of it's my ray ray's brushes from her last collection it's kind of like a pencil brush i really love it to define my crease when I'm working right underneath it. And this brush is just amazing for that. Also what I like to do to make sure that my eye shape is going in an upward motion, I always take that brush, this type of brush, and since I can concentrate that pigment better, I'm gonna tap right and then I'm gonna concentrate pushing that pigment upward. That way my eyes are, are still constantly going in an upward angle you know i just kind of follow the natural shape of my eye i'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease i'm actually going to just take a very detailed brush and dip into my nyx white base 
just carve out my eyelids. So I'm gonna try something. Makeup is about trial and error. I'm gonna see if I like this way versus applying a bunch of pigment first and then cutting. I'm gonna go in with Canary here and pat this right on. I'm gonna start in the center. I switched to my MAC 247 brush, literally one of my favorite brushes, my favorite synthetic brushes to place pigment. And it's gonna place it a little bit faster too. So I'm gonna place Canary right in the center like so okay so the last shade we are going to dip into is golden girl using again my mac 247 brush i'm gonna tap out the excess and i'm just gonna place that little shimmer right into the corner like so okay so now i'm gonna take my liquid liner and line my eyes like so okay so now that we've got the eyes taken care of the liners taken care of we are going to pop on some lashes here these lashes honestly y'all from the hair store so yeah go to your local hair store y'all know they got the faux mink lashes at the hair store these happen to be hair collection 3d minks i mean look at how cute they are so we are gonna see if they are really popping i'm gonna make sure this edge is good so now that we've got our lashes on, we are going to do something strange for a little bit of change. If it doesn't work, it doesn't matter. It's all about the experience with this. So I'm gonna take my white eyeliner and run it on the waterline. And I'm gonna go in with a really tiny, tiny brush. Dip into cobalt. And I'm gonna run that right on top of that white line. And then I'm actually gonna dip into Sapphire right above it. It's the shimmery blue. I'm gonna bring that closer to the inner corner like so. If you have really sensitive eyes, don't do this. You know, my eyes aren't that sensitive. Oh yeah, that gives it a really nice metallic, almost like it bit it. I'm just gonna run it all over instead of using cobalt. Now, we can go in with some mascara and just kind of get up in these eyes make my grandma face okay guys so that is the eyes i'm ultimately satisfied with them even though this eye decided to give me the blues we still fixed her i'd say that this is more of a softer cut crease versus like a cut cut crease you know like a snatchy snatch snatch one and that's fine too i think this look is still pretty so i'm gonna go ahead and finish out the rest of my face and i will be right back with you guys to give you the finished full face glow okay Okay guys, so this is the finished look. And I just kinda wanted to bring it all together. Very tropical, you know, you know. Just do a quick overview of what I used on my face cause I know you guys are gonna ask. Um, I actually went back into the old school, the first round. It's my Ray Ray and used one of my favorite hi uh, highlights. I like to switch it back and forth between French Toast and Radiant. One of my, like, literally, I love these highlighters in this palette. I already contoured my face, but I kind of added a little bit more depth to it with Brownie Bite. So I went into Brownie Bite and just added a little bit more definition to my face. And the lip I used is the old sweetie lip color from max one of their older collections i believe it, this collection came out like last summer or last year i don't know but this shade is in the color gumdrop and i think it really just brings 
all these colors together and it just gives you this nice tropical finish y'all i'm ready for the summer look at this chocolate girl y'all <laughs> are you gonna go out and get this palette i mean i definitely think it's worth it again 17.50 you can't go wrong with it i think it's a very beginner friendly palette too it gives you a little bit of options of having some nude play so, and then you've got all your fun colors. Very light. You can toss them in your bag and go. So congratulations, Ray Ray, on round two, girl. Round two. Let me know what you think in the comments below. This definitely screams I'm ready for summer. Look at how the light catches this glow. <laughs> Child, I am gorgeous. I don't know about you, boo, but I look good, honey. Yes. Alright, I'm loud, I know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, you guys. We are growing here, and I am so thankful for everybody who has subscribed to my channel. Like, you guys don't know what that does to me. It really lets me know that I am doing something right, okay? So, I... Love you guys so much for subbing. I love you guys for sharing my videos. I look back at my analytics all the time. And I see, you know, you guys are really just helping me you know get seen and i like you guys don't know how much that really means like the world to me so i really appreciate it we gonna keep growing keep sharing keep going keep moving we're gonna keep doing this you guys because this is a family if you are a new subby go ahead and let me know be low so i can say hi to y'all you guys are awesome okay all right don't stop being you okay all right guys i will see you in the next video Bye.